In a clamored silence lies the Okavango Delta, and it speaks volumes about the country, Botswana, a refuge for nature's magnificent pageantry of life. The Okavango Delta is a very important wetland system in Botswana, as you know. Botswana is a very arid country, and any drop of water is very important, particularly in a wetland like the Okavango Delta, which then means come, you, know, you have the resources that uh, that wetland is supporting. Those resources are very important for the local communities, the private sector, the tourism, and the number of use users in the system, uh, they have their own different interests. And over the years we have had these conflicting interests and issues surrounding uh, the use of the resources of the Delta. Some of them either uh, moving towards unsustainable use levels, uh, the others, you know, being just uh, conflicting uses. So for you then to, to manage the system, you need to have a tool that you can use to manage the system, which is inclusive enough, is attempting and trying to balance the interest of the various <coughs> stakeholders that use the system. The resource conservation aspect, the use aspect, and the management aspect. So you need to balance uh, those three uh, systems. Across the horizon, the delta stretches touching the lives of those who embrace it. This water-rich area, unique within Botswana's desert environment, was declared a Ramsar site in 1996. Uh, Management <laughs> The Okavango Delta Management Plan, with a mandate to integrate resource management for the Okavango Delta, ensures a long term conservation strategy that will provide benefits for the present and future well-being of the people through sustainable use of its resources. I mean, the concessions that we, that we operate with, which are community-based areas, um, the community ben benefits largely in, in various ways. Obviously, there's the financial benefit from lease fees, which we are paying. Um, and there's also a, which is, the community benefit from financially is substantial. We've also got employment um, in, in, in our, within our camps. They are uh, um, labor intensive, so we are employing, employing up very well. We're employing it at all different levels. Within the concessions, we are training, training um, our staff. So there's a, a large degree of training that is happening, um, which allows our staff to be employed at from all different levels, from junior junior staff all the way through to, to senior management. We're trying to create sustainable businesses and uh, certainly conservation, sustainable conservation economies. So we, we've, um, we've had to base our business on very strict environmental policies. Um, so to meet the specifications set by, set by the Botswana Tourism Board, we had to have very high levels of, uh, of, of eco-friendliness within the camps. Each concession that we have, we try and involve the communities um, that live alongside those concessions so that we get fair, fair impact on, on all the different areas that we're involved in.